Plus, a tragic accident unleashes the beast inside of one local man. What's the one thing you gain for losing everything? And that's perspective. It's a stacked edition of Sports Sunday up next. This is Midwest Air. All right, coming up, a story about strength and courage. And you'll enjoy this one from Leon Lebo when your Midwest Airlines Sports Sunday continues right after this. Welcome back, everybody. Tonight, a story of inspiration, courage, and strength. It's about a young man from Ottawa, Kansas, Nick Scott, who had thought he had lost everything, only to realize he still had so much left to gain. Leon Lebel has the story. It might be the first thing you notice about Nick Scott when you meet him. He's in a wheelchair. That's the way he sort of wants it to be. After all, the neon lights are there to get your attention. And they just died laughing when they saw the neons. So then I just kind of like pose, like, I'm bad. <laughs> it's the body inside the chair. That's where the message is. Because it doesn't matter if your glass is half empty or half full. You should be grateful that you have a glass. And you guys are the same age that I was at the turning point of my life. When that, that day when, you know, I thought I was going to die. That day was in the summer of 1998. Nick Scott was 16 years old on his way to football practice at Pomona High School. A tire on his car blew out, causing it to flip several times. And Nick was left paralyzed from the waist down. Yeah, I felt like my war was over. I mean, here I, I thought I was a big football player and I had visions of that I'd be the NFL player and this and that, but then everything was taken away from me in a split second. And the biggest question is like, what's next? But that wasn't an easy question to answer. After the accident, Nick became depressed, gained an enormous amount of weight. And when he saw himself in the mirror, that was almost as bad as being paralyzed. I saw it, I was just devastated because I, I gained so much weight and I had a spotted beard and a mini afro and some goofy glasses and I swore to myself I would change. And so he did. Nick began working out, lifting weights, getting stronger. His goal, of course, to walk again. Like, be able to walk without falling. I mean, I fell many times, but it was just, it was just day in and day out. It's just a struggle within if I could actually pull this off, and, and I did. In May of 2000, the aid of braces, Nick Scott walked across the stage to receive his high school diploma. But for Nick, this was just the beginning. There were many more stages to cross. Nick would become a bodybuilder, the beast he called himself, a two-time national champion. But as strong as his body had become, Nick had discovered it was his mind, his spirit, that had done all the lifting. I was nothing, and then it's just I strive for something. You guys could do the same thing. And now at the age of 25, he just wants to share his story, like with this group of youngsters at a local juvenile detention center. I mean, I know parts of you think you're hitting rock bottom, but the one thing you, you gain from losing everything is perspective. And this is the time where you can change your life if you want it to be, like a caveman walk. And the more you hear Nick Scott's story, the less you notice the wheelchair. It's just another weight that has to be lifted. It doesn't really matter why you, as long as you try to become something. And that's really what life is all about. Leon Liebel, NBC Action Sports. Wow. wow. Is that a guy you're pulling for? He's working on yeah. his master's degree right right now at yeah. Ottawa University. Okay. And his major goal, Leon said, is to walk again. And, and I think it's going to happen. I think oh, will. yeah. And wow. Inspiring story. What a, what yeah. Inspiration. Well yeah. yeah. All right. Thank Go you, get Jack. him, Nick. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely.